Hey guys, and welcome to another mod spotlight here. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to cover the Spawn Belt mod. Uh, now this one's a little different, actually, than a lot of mods. Most mods I do are like mods you would actually use in a gameplay or playthrough. This one uh, is more kind of for testing stuff. Uh, you could use it in a playthrough if you kind of want to cheat, but uh, but yeah, it, it's still really, really helpful. So let's get into it. It um it essentially adds two belts to the game, and uh, there's no technology to unlock them. They're just here to begin with again because it's uh, it's intended for testing purposes, and uh, they just cost an iron to make each. We have a spawn belt and a void belt. So let's start with the spawn belt. What this does is it spawns items um like a fully compressed blue belt worth of items. Uh, continuously. That might have actually been the void belt. There we go. Spawn belt. Uh, so it's going to continuously spawn items. Uh, it'll max out a blue belt and obviously any lower level belts. It'll just infinitely spawn them. Uh, so you can have a compressed belt like automatically with without having to actually set up miners, which is super, super nice. And you can change what it, the type of item it spawns. You can see here I'm spawning uh, rocket fuel. You can change that. Uh, it's iron ore by default, but you can change that if you stick a chest in front of it and stick an item in the chest, it'll spawn that. Um, I think that should work. Okay, so you can see it's doing wood now, and you can actually take this chest away. It'll still remember what it needs to spawn. Um, just show you here. So there you go. That's how you can change it. So you can have it spawn pretty much any item you want uh, infinitely. And... Uh, yeah, so I have a few applications where this could be really useful, uh, like testing a furnace setup could be really nice with this uh, because we can put a spawn belt here and it will automatically have a fully compressed belt so we can see, you know, how many furnaces we would need to actually, you know, pull from a fully compressed red belt. Uh, and then on this other side we have our void belts and these do the exact opposite. They essentially get rid of any items that are put on or that run into them. So if we like go ahead and do this. You can see it just gets rid of them. They just kind of go nowhere. They, they just disappear, which is good. Uh, so you can use these two in conjunction, which can work well, or uh, you could just use one or the other. Uh, but this is really nice because if you're using the spawn belt or something, it'll stop it from, you know, just getting backed up if you're not, like, actually using all the stuff. So let's go ahead and test this out. Let's take a spawn belt. We'll put it kind of back here. Iron ore is fine, obviously, for this application. It's going to fully compress this red belt, and we're going to see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven furnaces. We're going to need more. Eight, nine, ten. Let's go ten and see if this is enough. Now, obviously, there is a correct number uh, for a fully compressed red belt, but this, this can be a really good way to test. And, of course, testing different layouts and such. So we're just going to bring this here. Um, this is obviously the output. And then we're just going to use some of our void belts. So it doesn't back up. And uh, we'll just throw some solid fuel in here. And uh, let, let's test this out. Let's see if this is enough. You can see that it's uh, it's not. And now the cool thing is this is just going to get rid of it. Normally it'd back up and it'd be really hard to test any of this. Um, but you can see a red belt. It can, uh, a fully compressed red belt can clearly support far more furnaces than this. Now, say these were steel furnaces, it might be a different story, right? Because steel furnaces smelt twice as fast. So, if we now make the steel furnaces, you can see there's obviously still ore coming out the end here. So, uh, we, we could still support even more. There's 10 on each side. Um... I think it's like 20 or something that a steel fern uh, that a red belt can do. So you know this is a great way to test. This is just infinitely going to do this for you, and uh, you know you could just essentially just keep adding them until there's nothing that comes out the other side, and then that would pretty much be your number right there. Uh, and then you can see obviously this doesn't compress on the output either. Okay, so that's one really good application for it. And if you wanted to stop, you could just remove it. Um, you know, if you wanted, you could go ahead and test, like, uh, you know, like inserters, for example. Um, we could 
give this a, a bit of a test here. Uh, see how many inserters it, it would take to empty a blue belt. It's going to take more than this. We have five. Let's go ahead and do ten and see and see what happens there. So one thing we could do is this would be a fantastic place to use void belts. In fact, let's just make a ton of these. And uh, we could run them down this way, and I think we will. Uh, this this way, the stuff will just output infinitely, and we can get a really good test. So we'll take our salt or our rocket fuel here, and we'll see. And then, of course, so you can see that actually, ten is just about perfect. Uh, they don't work constantly like these other ones, but there are a few that slip through. And if we did not have these last two here, um, and I do have a void belt at the end just in case. In fact, let's move that a little bit just to be sure uh, because it was possible you can see actually that once in a while some stuff still gets through so maybe we'd want like 11 inserters or something so this is just a fantastic mod to test out all different kind of stuff you can test out you know actual setups like for circuits or something see how long of a circuit build you can make with, you know, red or blue or yellow belt um, until the resources, you know, just until the belt just can't support it. And then you can upgrade to the next one and just have your spawn belt constantly spawning everything. It's really, really nice. Very simple. Uh, again, mostly for testing purposes, but if you do, uh, I mean, if you want to kind of cheat or whatever, uh, that's obviously your prerogative. But, uh, you know, you could just like do your main boss and have the spawn belts just spawning infinite resources on everything if you just want to test like just have a base where you just build massive without having to worry about outposts and stuff uh, then that's another way to go anyway guys that will be it uh, as always a link down in the description where you can check out the mod uh, and then a little more written info in the description as well and if you have any questions suggestions feedback let me know down in the comments and next week I will uh, throw another mod spotlight at you on Wednesday and I believe it will be one that was uh, requested by a subscriber so we will uh, get to that next week but until then I hope this is helpful hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you all and do take care